searching for the witch Siri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. Sorceress told the Witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to take him shelter in his hideout. The Witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Siri had never reached the Elven Mage, yet the Wild Hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The Witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The Crones of Crookback Bog. I need a good plow. Get out of my sight. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilf Guardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero? Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilf Guardian garrison. Doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. How'd you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. More units smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled, abandoned the Perch, once this war's over, and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed Baron will cease. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folk see witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. So long. Soused. He gets angry, and he's always drinking. His plowing been in there an hour already. Must be strangling a girthy one. Look like you got south last night, too. What's got men to you again? Wait and see. Just know to join things with the villains, then clamp them loosely. Pieces will move freely, then. How may I assist you? Looking for someone who can craft me some armor. Gotta be top quality. Well, I've been at it 20 years now. Mastered the craft in some respects, if I do say so myself. <laughs> you wish. Don't listen to her. She's been sore lately, snorting every chance she gets. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? Light, but durable. 
Can't constrain movement, and I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. That all? Sure it shouldn't be self-cleaning. And how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? <laughs> Comfortable, strong and light will do just fine. Ought to know one thing when it comes to armor. If it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordoroch use on Undvik. Joanna! I told you time and again to stay silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pester folk with those nonsense Skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Undvik for his armor. Said Tordoroch folk made the best. Till last year, that is, when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools. But only then. These legends mention where the forge might be? Yes. North side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Look for the tools next time I'm in Skellige. Take care now. How can I help you? Interesting lilt in your voice. You originally from Skellige? Odd Skellig. Spent my whole childhood in Holmstein. Why'd you leave? Always had a liking for the smithy. I'd sit there all day taking things in. The heat of the furnace, the smell of the hot steel, the pounding hammers. At 17 winters, my dad told me he could teach me no more, sent me out there into the world, bid me to hone my craft. A few years on, I had my master crafting papers. Then the war broke out and I landed here. What are you selling? What's good? Take care now. Boy, lads, fancy an outing to find that she beast. Been the Smiths, lads. Gap tooth one. What a bad idea. Nice tits on her. I'm talking about the Shrieker. Wreaking havoc in the peasants' coops now. You bought her. Oh, we got us a hero looking to see if the common folk. <laughs> Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. We've gathered ourselves quite the collection. Why let such nice things waste away in peasant halls? Show me what you got. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. So long. Baron gets soused. He gets angry, and he's always drinking.
Perhaps on a lot of you. Greetings. Yeah? Heard you have a problem. A monster you call a Shrieker. Aye. Prowls about, it does. Snatches cows and goats, mostly. But it won't scorn a man if it runs into one. Borzoi, huntsman under the old lord, well, he said enough's enough. Claimed he'd put a stop to it, drive the beast away. Mm-hmm. Took a hatchet. Made an ambush for the Shrieker beyond the moat, where the fields start. It's where we found him. Guts stretched o'er the crown of a tree like gossamer. Took half a day to collect the parts. Put him in a grave. High time a professional took a look at this Shrieker. Anyone around here know more about the beast? Borzoi's son Simcoe does. Saw the aura with his own eyes. But you might find the lad hard to chat with. Still mourns his father, methinks. I see. Where'll I find him? At me homestead. I took the tyke in when he lost his dad. The mother passed long ago. Calm down, I just wanna... Go, I said. I wanna avenge your father, but to do that I gotta know what killed him. Shrieker killed him. Don't you know? That name doesn't mean much to me. Describe the beast. Tell me what it looked like. Something like a rooster. But huge. With a lizard's tail. I heard Ruffler barking in the woods. Trying to see what you were on about. There were Dad, in the bushes. A hole through his belly. And he were moaning, screaming. I wanted to help, but how could I? How? Nothing you could do for him, kid. Beast has to die, that's all. Leave it to me. Take care, kid. Muttering. Baron Schmarry, if I want to plow some peasant lass, I will. Don't give cock that. Standing Jew, I challenge you! Boots a bit big, maybe? Careful not to trip. Halt, I say! I am Rondvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. To honor made Bilbury, fairest of all maids I know, by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste. For I have ninety nine left after you. Hmm. Why are you challenging me? Don't recall doing anything to offend the maid Bilberry. Well, why? Um. Then swear. Swear! Maid Bilberry's the most loveliest of all. Thing is, I've never laid eyes on her. Aha! Ah! I shall wash your scorn away with thy blood fiend. Stand and fight. You know, I yield. Had enough? Yes, look stood with you. 
But, but the next time we meet... Go back to mate Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again! Muzzles caked in blood. Didn't give up without a fight. Tracks are irregular here. Monster must have started staggering. Was wounded, most likely. Blood. Monster blood. lead to the cave. A cockatrice.
Gilia. Move it. A bucket of peelings yesterday, the feast we had. He's not scared. Baron finds out someone's stealing food for the pigs. Lady Baron's hey there. It's a madman. Gurgles demon blood everywhere. <laughs> Nothing left but to pray. Beg. Greetings. Yeah? Shrieker won't trouble you anymore. Thank ye, Master Witcher. Your reward taint much, but as they say, take care of the pennies. Keep the coin. You took in an orphan. Need it more than I do. And they call witches unfeeling. Inhuman. Well, I thank ye. From the bottom of my heart. Master Witcher.